Hello there. Does tea upset your stomach? Have you ever had a cup of tea and it just didn't agree with you? Maybe you've stopped drinking tea because you figure if this is the way tea is going to make me feel, what's the point? All right, my name is Dina Cataldo. I am the owner of Sicilian Tea Company. Thank you very much for being here tonight. Uh, the reason I'm bringing this up, the reason that we're having this live chat is because I've had a friend who started talking to me not too long ago about her experiences with tea. They weren't good. She had tea at a couple different places every time her stomach hurt afterwards and she stopped drinking tea altogether. And this couldn't have been easy for her to share with me because I own a tea company and she knows I love tea. All right. And, and she just wanted to, to share it with me to find out, okay, hey, am I doing something wrong? And there are things that she could have done better after doing a little bit of prodding. I asked some questions and I got some information from her and I want to share those things with you so that you can brew a better cup of tea. Maybe you've given up on tea. Maybe you've decided that, you know, certain teas are not for you because you've never had one that, that suited you, that, that made you feel good. So let's talk a little bit about what I learned from my friend uh, and then I'll take that information and I'll, I'll tell you, you know, what you can do so that you can avoid these things in the future so you can make a better cup of tea. So first off, the kinds of tea that you're drinking are important. When I talked to my friend, she told me that she had uh, tried a couple uh, teas a couple different ways. She'd tried tea bags, you know, steeping her own tea bags. She'd also tried drinking tea that was brewed uh, at a coffee shop. So a barista had made her tea and she did have loose leaf tea that barista brewed it for her. So that, that was the first thing I asked her. And then I asked her what the tea tasted like and she said it was bitter. Uh, and I asked her Specifically, did you have that puckering flavor in your mouth, like your, your mouth puckered when you drink it? And she said, yes. That's something, that bitter taste is something that you want to look out for. And we'll talk a little bit more about why tea can be bitter and why it creates that puckering sensation in our mouths. Uh, she said that she had drunk the tea both times or, or all the times on empty stomach. And she said that she wasn't sure how long the tea was brewed, but there were two specific things that stood out to me when she said that. One was she explained how she brewed the tea bagged tea. And what she did is she left the tea bag in the teacup as she was drinking it. And so that would have been in the teacup for over five minutes at least. As far as the barista goes, she trusted the barista to brew the tea the way that it was supposed to be brewed. Okay. I asked her if she put anything in it just to cover all of our bases. And she said she did put sweetener in it. Now that may or may not make a difference in the future um, in terms of your tea drinking habits, but it's something to keep in mind because our bodies react to things differently. And for some of us, sweeteners may give us a stomach ache. So it's just something to, to be mindful of. So what causes tea to become bitter and what causes these, um, our stomachs to be upset in some cases in the first place? It's all about tea chemistry, all right? Um, tea leaves contain complex, cam uh, complex compounds, and those are like caffeine, polyphenol, polyphenols, amino acids, minerals, a lot of different compounds inside of the tea leaf. And if you go back to watch some of the other videos, uh, I talk a little bit about tea processing um, and for different kinds of teas, how those teas are processed. And depending upon how a tea leaf is processed, it's going to bring out more or less of those complex compounds, all right? Um, the, the compounds undergo changes when those leaves are processed into what we want to drink, right? So we've got green tea, we have uh, white tea, black tea, oolong, all the different teas have a different process and each of those processes bring out different compounds. And when we're talking about black teas, those are going to be the most caffeinated. Those are going to have some of the, the caffeine compounds that uh, will come out. Um, so in addition to the, the different compounds, uh, or actually, let me take a step back. So the reason why um, some of these 
compounds exist in the tea leaf in the first place is to protect the tea leaf from predators. Now, they have a slightly bitter taste, some of them, which is meant to fend off predators. However, us humans have decided that tea can be created uh, to be pleasant, to be something that we enjoy. It just depends on how we process the tea leaf and also how we brew that same tea leaf. We just have to learn to brew our cups better. All right, so if we are brewing it in a way that creates more bitterness, that brings out some of these, um, the bitterness of these compounds within the tea leaf, then yeah, our tea is going to be bitter and it may in fact make our stomachs hurt. Okay. So let's talk about four ways to keep tea from upsetting our stomachs. Now the first way is to just not steep our tea leaves longer than directed. So for instance, if you are brewing a tea leaf that has, um, that has directions on it, like in a packet, follow the directions on the packet. Now, if your stomach's still becoming upset, you may want to uh, decrease the time that you're brewing your tea leaf. Or maybe you want to lower the temperature of the water. Now, that takes me to, to, to number two. I'm going to come back to number one. But number two is going to be steep loose leaf teas. Now, the, the tea leaves themselves, um, although they have these complex compounds, um, it's really, it's easier to overbrew. Let me take a step back again. When we're talking about loose leaf teas versus the uh, tea fannings or the tea dust that you find in the tea bags, there's going to be a big difference. So if we're overbrewing our tea bags, that's going to make the tea even more bitter than it might, let's say, a loose leaf tea, one that has larger leaves. And the reason for that is because the loose leaf, or excuse me, the CTC, the tea fannings, the tea dust that's inside that little tea bag is meant to be brewed quicker. So if you leave your tea bag steeping inside your cup, it's going to make the, it's going to brew faster and it's going to become bitter faster. All right, so take the bag out before you start sipping if you're drinking a tea bag. You just have to be aware that if you keep that tea bag in there, it's going to make the tea more bitter and then your stomach is, may hurt afterwards. And as far as my friend's reliance on a barista to brew the tea right, that's, that's not always the case, okay? They do the best they can, but they're not always the most educated when it comes to uh, brewing times and uh, hot water. So for instance, and we talked a little bit about this in the prior videos, if you're talking about a white tea, you're not going to be brewing it quite as long as you are a black tea. And you're certainly not going to be brewing white tea in boiling water like you would with a black tea. Because the hot, hot water, the boiling water, is what you need to extract the flavors from the black tea. You don't need your water as hot to extract flavor from a white tea. Uh, a lot of times coffee shops, they're not going to be aware of this. The barista is not going to be aware of this. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you're going to pay 5 to $7 for a really nice cup of tea at a place um, like that, you want to just take control because you, otherwise you might be wasting your money. All right. So that takes us to number three. Uh, you may not want to drink tea on an empty stomach. Uh, this is something that you have to just judge for yourself. If you're, if you're drinking a tea like black tea, a strong tea that's malty and robust, and even green tea sometimes can be a little bit uh, bitter if you, if you st steep them too long and you don't have anything to eat beforehand. It's just like coffee, right? Have you ever had a cup of coffee on an empty stomach and you feel like the acids kind of build up in your stomach and it just doesn't feel good? You just have to be mindful of that and you know be aware that you need to have a snack or something while you're eating or before you're drinking your tea. Uh, and then as far as sweeteners go, that's up to you. Decide for yourself how sweeteners might affect your stomach. I mean, they, they affect everybody differently. So that's just a personal choice. And then another thing that to think about, and this, is, this comes from personal experience, is be aware that if you drink tea while you're taking certain medications, you might want to space your medications apart from your tea. And I had, 
I had an experience that was not fun and it was at work while um, I was preparing for um, a hearing or a trial and I just remember that I was in my supervisor's office and I was feeling sick to my stomach and the only explanation for it, because it had never happened before or since, is that I had had my tea and my medications at the same time. I had had something to eat with the, the tea, but it just apparently was not enough. So be aware that if you're taking medications, don't take it while or around the time you're drinking your tea because it may not agree with you. It was not fun. All right, so the next time you're brewing your tea, ask yourself a few questions, okay? Just what kind of tea are you drinking? Are you drinking tea bag tea where you need to look at the directions? Uh, are you drinking uh, loose leaf tea? Uh, there should also be some kind of guideline for that too, right? So you don't need to brew your white teas as long as your, um, your black teas are as in hot a water, right? Um, and then how long are you brewing your tea? Are you steeping it for a really long time? Or are you able to take the tea bag out and so you can figure out, all right, it's not as bitter when I take the tea bag out earlier and maybe you have a better chance of not being sick to your stomach. Um, are you drinking your tea on an empty stomach? Because then you're gonna have a higher chance of having um, your stomach hurt. And are you taking any medications, any supplements with your tea? That might be something that could cause your stomach to hurt. And you can also just try drinking different teas. Uh, one tea that is famous for being easy to drink is oolong tea. There are lots of different oolong teas and you can just try any of those. Uh, you may just be used to black tea and black tea doesn't always agree with people. And same thing with green tea, it just doesn't always agree with people. So try different ones and see what you like better and what might agree with your system better. It's all about being mindful of what's going on in your body, right? Um, so there's a couple things that I have done that might help you out. So first off, what I've done is I'm going to post in the comments section a link to the blog that goes over everything that we've already talked about in this video. It's just a summary of it. So go ahead and click on that. And when you click on that, it'll also take you to um, another uh, link. And I'll, I'll link to that too if you just want to go directly to it but it is a link to a guide. It's a quickie guide to the six teas. And then you can get an idea of what kind of teas you like to drink. Maybe you're just not into white or green teas. Maybe you like black teas more, but it gives you a quickie guide description of these teas to give you, to make you more educated about your choices. So be sure to tell me what you thought of this video in the comments below. Uh, like and share this video if you like it. And if you're on YouTube, hit subscribe and you will get other videos in the future, all right? And join me every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific time and I will answer all of your questions about tea. If I don't know it, I will look it up. I will ask somebody. We will figure it out together, okay? So have a wonderful night and thank you so much for joining me.